That was Black Girls by Chester French. Since breaking on the scene in 2009 with their de debut album, Love of the Future, D.A. Wallach and Max Drummy have gained the respect of their fans and the biz through creating great music and constant online hustle, my friends. Please welcome Chester French. How's it going? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to, to see, see you, too. too. I've been following you because you were at Spotify, and so you are artist in residence. Yeah. What does that mean? How do you get that title? A lot of online hustling. Yes. But um, I'm basically an advocate for the creative community mm -hmm. within Spotify. So we're making sure that the company stays really true to artists. Um, we're trying to do something pretty different with music right now and change the way that people consume it and that artists get paid from it. So I sort of function as a translator. That's interesting. Why yeah. is that important? And I mean, feel like that's a big deal to have someone who's an artist that's working in a big company like sure. that. Sure. Well, you know, we're witnessing right now a major transition that I think finally holds the potential to get artists paid for their work. Mm -hmm. And for the past 10, 15 years, albeit it's been a great thing, um, we've seen most people in society stop paying for music. So with Spotify, we're not only trying to give people something that's worth paying for, but we're trying to make sure that artists are fairly compensated when people enjoy their work. Definitely. So that's now, near and dear to us. Your music has been compared to everything from Outkast to Weezer. How do you describe Chester French to people? We compare it as ranging from Outkast to Weezer. <laughs> no, like, no. No. What's, what's, the, what, what's the Chester French style? Because you have so many different types of songs. The song you're singing today, and then um, some stuff that's more sort of rhythms and beats right. and... Um, so part of the idea behind just having it be two of us is that we can kind of do whatever we want because yeah. we're not like bound to a specific instrumentation or like we don't really have to have other people with specific ideas that we need to execute. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of flexible. I love it. Well, you also have a new album coming out. We do. So tell us about your new album, what people can expect. Sure. Yeah, the new album's called Music for Teenagers. Mm -hmm. And it's T-N-G-R-S. Just because it looked better. It's more symmetrical it with music. And we used a four, the number <laughs> for the four. Um, but uh, we called it Music for Teenagers because we made it over the past couple years in Wisconsin and uh, out in L.A. And our thinking the whole time was like we wanted to make some music that felt like when we were in high school, we would think that was awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I think we're in a moment right now where so much of the music that's out on the radio is very sort of superficial. And, you know, we grew up with Nirvanas of the world and stuff that really felt raw and honest. And that's what we've tried to do with this album is really kind of like open ourselves up and give people 100% of, yeah. um, of what we have to say and what we're thinking and, you know, truth and beauty. And music that transcends, right? Hopefully, like it, yeah. Hopefully, is that possible for, with the next generation of musicians? We want to see that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've always, as listeners, been fans of like a huge diversity of music. And I think we've been really lucky to have a number of people get into our music who also appreciate lots of different things. You know, high school kids or middle schoolers or whoever, college kids who don't fit in a box. Mm -hmm. And you know those are kind of our people. So lastly, before you perform, you have a lot of people that follow you that are musicians or people that are working with labels, right. um, you know, in the music industry that want to know because you built such a big social media following. Like, what are your tips to this really engaging community? You know, I think it's the same thing that we try to do with the music, which is just be honest and expose ourselves. And um, I think you kind of make a choice to be a public character and to speak your mind. And that's what we try to do, and I think people relate to that. So um, I don't even know how to sort of manufacture a thing. Yeah, you be know, who you are. Just try right. to be who we are. Well, I'm excited to see you perform your new single, Interesting Times, right here, right now. It's Thanks. Chester French. Thanks. Thank I can't believe I'm gonna die one day I can't believe we'll all be gone I can't believe that I won't be 25 for much longer now And it's weird this room's gonna disappear 
and that somebody lived here before. It's weird I live in four dimensions, but there might be more. But it's all, but it's all beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's nothing else to say. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. There's nothing else to say. May you live in interesting times. May you live in interesting times. Do -do -do -do. I can't believe that this all came from dust. And that I'll lose some people I love I can't believe that I might just be projecting A dream And I hope this finds you when things are good And I hope that you're not facing loss And I hope yeah, I hope you find someone out there who loves you a lot. But it's all, but it's all beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's nothing else to say. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. There's nothing else to say. May you live in interesting times. May you live in interesting times. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Thank you. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Finally, we made it work. Chester French, interesting time is download that single right now on iTunes and head to ChesterFrench.com to pre-order their upcoming album, Music for Teenagers. And by the way, people can get the album. We've, we've made a really special varsity jacket that you can buy with it. And really? A really cool t-shirt. So it's the whole a, experience. It's, kind of a, it's a collector's item. Go, so yeah. go do it. Check it out. That's really awesome.